700,000. That is the number of skilled trade employees that are going to retire in Canada in the next 10 years. I'm not saying that. It's the information coming from Canada.ca. And if you want to know what those skilled trade employees are, I'm going to leave a link down to the playlist about skilled trades immigration to Canada I prepared. You can watch it there. But today's video is not about just the people who are in the skilled trades. It's about the immigration policies which have played a huge role in creating this problem and which are going to do so for the next 10 to 15 years unless these policies are changed. If you want to know about it, stay tuned. So let's understand why I am speaking about this problem. First, I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant, so I'm right in the center of this problem where we have people all across the globe who have wonderful experience in skill trade in different parts of the, the world, and they want to come to Canada. And on the other side, we have employers in Canada who are facing this massive problem of not finding the right people to do the job. And some even go months and months before they can even hire the right person. And sometimes those right people don't even stay on the job for that long. So. When I came to Canada about 12 years ago, I studied a, a business program here and then I started working in the HVAC mechanical industry where I stayed for a very long time. And the last position I had was a national service manager of a mechanical HVAC manufacturing company. And I had the same problem where I used to find it very hard to find the right candidates to do the skilled trade jobs for me as well. And then later on when I started the immigration company, then I started trying to figure out why this problem exists. And I really understood that where the problem is, how the policies, the immigration policies of Canada are not really helping in solving this problem, but they're actually creating uh, hurdles for people who want to come to Canada through this program. Okay, so we're going to speak about the shortages. We are going to speak about where those problems are with the immigration policies and how you can overcome them. And if you are somebody who has listened to the video and can do something about it, maybe you can push the immigration department or the Canadian government to make little changes in those policies, which will make it easier for the skilled trade people from outside Canada to come here and uh, work with the Canadian employers who so desperately need these people and eventually provide a long-term solution to our skill trade problem in Canada. Well, to understand the significance and the amplitude of this problem, look at these statements from Canada.ca, where the government acknowledged that over the next 10 years, about 700,000 people are going to retire in the different skill trade industry, and they are going to leave a huge shortage of people who could replace them. The problem here is that rather than looking at the global scale where there are already people who are trained to do these jobs, the immigration minister acknowledged that this is a problem and they're encouraging Canadians to come and uh, start studying in these skilled trade professions. But not everybody is going to be able to do. So that's why we should look at globally to see if we can bring people who are already trained in these professions. And Financial Post also um, mentioned that this is going to be a big, big problem in the next coming 10 years. Now let's understand why I say there is a, a flaw with the policies, which is not really helping in solving this problem at all. The program people can use to come to Canada as a skilled trade person is Federal Skilled Trades Program. And this is one of the three categories of the Express Entry System. So if you want to make an Express Entry profile, you gotta be eligible for one of the three programs, which is Canadian Experience Clause, Federal Skilled Trade, or Federal Skilled Worker. And let's say that you are a, a tradesperson. To be eligible for this program, you need to have uh, either a job offer or a certification of qualification. A job offer is not going to be feasible if you are not in Canada because majority of the employers who work uh, within the law, they understand there is provincial authorities which would regulate this profession and they would not uh, let the employers hire anyone who do not have a license. The second option is certification of qualification. The problem there is certification of qualification is basically saying that I as a trade person has more experience or equal experience to somebody who's doing the same job in Canada and I want to, ch uh, to challenge the trade authority to give me the same license. So there is a process for this, but the problem with the process is first of all, it's very lengthy and there, it has a step where you need to come to Canada to write the exam. 
So if you want to learn about the certification of qualification process, I'll leave the link for that video in the description section. But overall, uh, you will apply for the Provincial Trade Authority. They charge somewhere around $120 to $450, depending upon the province. And they will hire a private investigator in your own country to verify your experience. And if they are satisfied that you have the right uh, amount of experience and education, they will say that, yes, we approve you to come to Canada and write the challenge exam. And that is where the biggest hurdle comes because when anybody is applying to Canada as a visitor to come to Canada for any reason, there is a requirement of the law, immigration law, to convince the immigration officer that you have a, a valid reason to be here and a even stronger reason to go back to your home country and you have the financials to take care of the trip and you have economic stability and financial stability in the country where you're applying from. So say for example, you are a person who is born in India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka or any country, but since uh, Middle East, uh, Dubai or Kuwait are uh, places which are growing at an exp exponential rate, you're working there as, for example, say welder. But your status in that country is not permanent and you are only drawing an average amount of income because obviously these countries are not going to pay you a crazy amount as a welder or a refrigeration technician. So your economic stability is not very, very strong in that country and you do not have a valid status. Not, uh, I would say you do not have a valid permanent status in that country. You're working on a, uh, on a work permit. And when you do an application for a visitor visa under these conditions, very likely the immigration officers are going to refuse a visa even when a provincial authority has approved you to come to Canada to write that exam. I believe this is one of the biggest problem which needs to be solved by changing the immigration policies that if a person is approved by a provincial authority to come to Canada and write the challenge exam who also has a potential of finding a job very soon right after he gets his uh, certification of qualification. These people should be given certain kind of leeway and uh, relaxation in the immigration policies to, to say that if you are com not coming from your country of nationality, you're coming from your country of residence immigration officers should consider the approval of the provincial authorities as a higher factor while making a decision on this application. So that if you cross the second hurdle and say that you, uh, the, your visa is approved, you come to Canada, you write the exam and you pass the exam. Now comes the third hurdle. Even when you get a certification of qualification, you are still not eligible to apply into the federal skilled trade program because even though there is a requirement of having minimum of two years experience in the past five years to be eligible for this program there is another condition that if you have a certification of qualification look here that you uh, you need to have two more years of experience after having your certification of qualification now this blows my mind if a provincial authority says that you have the right amount of experience to get a license and they have verified your experience why is Immigration Canada putting this another layer of requirement after getting certification of qualification? If there is such a huge shortage of people who we need in Canada, Immigration Canada should think about this and remove this requirement because this person already has a minimum of five years of experience. And if you look at the skilled trade authorities across Canada, different provinces, I believe the minimum experience for any trade is going to be two to five years. So if a provincial authority is satisfied that this person has the right experience and so that we can give him the license to do the job, I don't believe this requirement should be there to have two more year, years of experience after getting certification of qualification. So by having the two years requirement of work experience after the getting the certification of qualification, these people are only left with the other option, which is to get a job offer to be uh, eligible to apply for permanent residency. So in certain situations, they end up with the uh, legitimate employers who actually give them a job and they are eligible to apply for the PR. But in many situations, these guys, since they're new to Canada, they don't know the system here they get uh, uh, into the wrong hands and be become victims of people who, who charge them a huge amount of money to find these job offers right and to solve this problem I guess the only way is that if IRCC do some updates in their policies and make these following changes one 
if a provincial authority has approved somebody's experience and say that you are eligible to apply for a certification of qualification because of the provincial authority's approval uh, and the the efforts they have done the, the efforts of the clients i think rcc should make it easier for these type of people to apply for their visitor visas and the requirement of having to show financial resources requirement of having to show a reason of return to their home countries or resident countries i think they should be given little weightage than the approval of the provincial authorities and we should make it easier for these people to come to canada to write their certification of qualification exam and join the workforce in canada because canada needs these people more than these people need canada right so 700 people shortage this is one way of making it easier for them second uh, we have work permits which are LMIA exempt, specifically in certain situations like global talent stream, wherein we pr make it easier for employers in Canada to hire people who are in the software industry. I think we should do the same with the skilled trade employers who want to hire skilled trade people from across the globe. And I, I, I guess that rather than just giving uh, a job offer to anybody in uh, the world, I guess if somebody gets an approval from a provincial authority to write the license exam and an employer wants to hire that person through the whichever portal we can make to, to m match these employers with the employees and those people need to to get an LMIA exemption on their work permit if we can do that it will be easier for somebody to uh, to apply for a certification of qualification and get an approval and if the employer wants to hire them through uh, the the portals of the provincial authorities they should uh, get an uh, a work permit much easier than uh, any other person so they can come to Canada write their exam and immediately start working with the employer Third, the federal skilled trade program requirement of having two years of work experience after getting a certification of qualification should be removed because we need these people to stay here in Canada for a very long time because if there is going to be 700,000 people short, we do not need to just give them a two year work permit and ask them to go out of the, can uh, the, the country. So we want them to stay here. We want them to continuously work in the skilled trade industry so we do not have another shortage down the line so if we get them to make it easier for them to uh, to get, apply for the permanent residency through a certification of qualification and not having to uh, show two more years of experience in canada it's going to be much easier for these people to come here and apply for permanent residency so if uh, enough people uh, start speaking about it uh, start bringing this issue to their local uh, members of parliaments and members of legisl uh, legislative assemblies. I guess we can create enough hype and enough pressure uh, on Immigration Canada to maybe look into this issue and start making these changes, which I know it's going to be a slow process, but I guess somebody has to start somewhere. Okay. And if you are somebody who wants to come to Canada through this program, we have been doing this process for a very long time through the provincial authorities to get certification of qualification. So we know the requirements. We can definitely help you make your paperwork and apply for the, the certification of qualification. And since I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant, our team is pretty well versed with what IRCC is going to look at while applying for your visitor visas. And we are going to be with you, fight for you until they give you a visitor visa. Okay, and in certain situations, if you are here and um, you uh, you get your certification of qualification, we have wonderful relationship with certain employers who want to hire you without charging you any LMIA fees or anything, which is definitely an illegal way of working through the LMIA system. But if you are somebody who needs to come to Canada and who have the right experience, right skill set, and who can help Canada in fulfilling the shortage, reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to hear about you. Okay. And if you like the contents of the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to uh, the channel because I know promoting this video or bringing it to the right people, the more views we are going to get, it's better for, for all of you who want to come to Canada through this program. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe, please.